Is it three stories or it two? I don't know. We about to find out though. This happened like a year ago. Me and my mom were coming back from the store. Everything was pretty normal. Okay. We were just in the car and my mom was driving. It's Until I noticed there was a green car next to us. I didn't really care that driving? much. But that then light? my mom sped off as soon as I heard it through. She explained why she did that. What she said next made my heart drop. There were two women in that green car. They got a gun out and were about to shoot my mom. Oh, whoa, my mom had whoa. looked at the side mirror of the car. When she saw it, she hit the gas as soon as the light turned green. As soon as it hit green, I would have hit it with a hit red. Took a picture. Y'all would have seen them, seen me. Directions, so they didn't follow us. As soon as we got home, my mom explained everything to my grandfather, <laughs> who was wild. there waiting for us in the house. That's wild. My mom didn't know who they were. We didn't look at the license plate or call the police. Couldn't. But now, I always remember about that incident every time I see a green car. I wonder, what would have happened if the car was going the same direction as us? Or if the light hadn't turned green in time? I don't think it was anything like that. I think it's the wrong person. This is a story that they my mom told me somebody about your a car true had the story. same look, but they there was a woman turn. in her late forties and single who never got to experience having children. One day she decides to fly to Russia to adopt a child, and once she arrived there, she saw a young and small Russian girl that caught her attention. The woman took her home and raised the child as her own. As the years passed by, the girl and the mother lived a happy, normal life this until college side? rolled in, oh, okay. and the girl started hanging out with people that were a very... <laughs> I was like, is this the flip side? It's like, the mom actually kidnapped the daughter, and that was like the real mom about to shoot the mom. <laughs> Bad That'd influence wild. on her. With time, she became rebellious and vicious and started consuming drugs. I they were crabs. Oh, One goodness. night, the mother and her daughter break out into an argument that the next part is super shocking. The daughter lost control, took a knife, and stabbed the mother to Whoa. death. The girl was detained by the cops, but the court was stuck whether to consider it a homicide or to declare the girl a psychopath, as they think the girl homicide. could have relived a traumatic event from her past before she was put up for adoption. The woman's family wanted nothing to do with the girl anymore, nor did they bars. ever find out what happened to her. Intruder. When I was a kid, so story we lived three? in a three-story house, and our closest neighbors lived two miles away. It was a hot summer night when we decided to go for a swim at the beach nearby. It was just me and three of my closest friends. Mm -hmm. We were staying over for a few days while my parents were out of town. I see two people though. You said Once three. we were done, we reached our house and we noticed that one of the lights on the second floor was turned on. Did I hear that wrong? She said it was me and three of my closest friends or she said two of my closest friends. We were staying over for a few days while my parents were out of town. Once we were done, uh, we whatever. reached our Don't house, matter. and we noticed that one of the lights on the second floor was turned on. We didn't think anything of it until we suddenly heard a loud bang, and the light turned off. We all gasped, and I dropped my keys on the floor. I'd reached for my phone in my pocket to call the police when I noticed that my phone had died. Suddenly, one of my friends grabbed the keys and opened the door. We called out for her to stop, but before we could grab her, she was already inside the house, rushing towards the stairs to get to the second floor. I asked my other friend to call <laughs> the police with her step. phone while I went to look you for this our friend. Was. I kept the lights turned off and headed to the kitchen to grab a knife, then up to her the eyes second are crazy. floor. I was halfway there when I stopped, holding the knife in front of me and called out for my friend. When I didn't receive Hello? an answer, I got anxious and started slowly heading up. I heard someone whisper my name, but before I could reach the end of the stairs, I saw the police cars through the window. Whoa. 
Why is there a cop already? I decided to let them do their job and deal with this. There must be some so crazy stuff going on now. Stairs, tripping along don't the way. Don't don't run with scissors, knives, I whatever. Was a <laughs> 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 Yo! She ran into the door. So I ran down the stairs, tripping along the way. She I was tripped. A breath away from the door and it slammed on my face. I was completely terrified. Stab herself or something? My heart was beating a thousand miles an hour. Before I could open the door again, I heard footsteps behind me and immediately froze. I oh, slowly they the front turned door. around to see a dark figure on my right pointing a gun at me. At that moment, the police burst into the house. And the invader ran back upstairs. Oh, your then life I was dropped sick. the knife and started bawling my eyes out until the policeman Yo. calmed me down. I was so worried about my friend and about the invader that still hadn't been caught. The policeman escorted me outside to my friend, and we waited silently with another policeman so he could search the house and find them both. After a half hour of the searching, other friend, he finally found my friend. Unconscious, oh, okay. but no sign of the dark figure. Knocked it seemed her out. like he had knocked her out with something. At the sight of her, I started crying again because <sighs> I knew that if the police hadn't arrived in time, it could have been some me stuff too. I can't say. Once we made sure she was conscious and okay, we begged the police to please search the house one more time before we would go inside to sleep. But once again, they didn't find anyone. Okay. We were uh, all so terrified that we decided to spend the night at a hotel nearby. You definitely should have. Five years passed, and my friends and I had lost contact, since both of them had moved to different states, and it was hard to keep in touch. My family and I decided to sell our house and move, so we started to go through our things in order to decide what to keep, what to throw away, or donate. My parents handled the upstairs floors, while me and my sister handled the bottom floor and the basement. After a couple hours, it was time to move on to the basement, when we stumbled on our father's old suitcase. Okay. We tried to pick it up in order to throw it away, You'll see your father's but it was stuff. very heavy, so we put it down and unzipped it. What we saw inside was terribly horrifying. We saw the bones of a person and screamed. Yo. We immediately told our parents and they called the police. When the police arrived, they took the bones away as we stood there watching. We not even going nowhere. I, <laughs> the incident that happened I get it though. All those years ago. And to this day, I still think about it. I was here stick. I was here just looking like why, why is he not moving? <laughs> oh man. All right, y'all. Uh, that's creepy. That is creepy. Hey, do you ever walk into uh, a room and I'm in the video here? I am a rugger muffin. Check out the channel, a rugger muffin gaming, a rugger muffin reaction, a rugger muffin by itself. It, it most likely in a playlist. So if you want to check that out without me like explaining it to you, just look at the playlist. If you want to check out the content, check out the content. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but do it. <laughs> and moi, moi.